Hello, and welcome to a how-to video from me, Jay Turk Gaming. So, what's the premise of this video today? Well, it's to more efficiently um, get sh cut sugar beets using a few mods that are all platforms. And yes, this will work all platforms. PC, Mac, um, Xbox One, Xbox One X, Xbox Series S and X, PS4, PS5. It work on all platforms, and it's not hard to do. So you're gonna need a few mods. First one is gonna be a silo mod, which you can pretty much use any silo that you want. The big thing is you're gonna need one that has the grating to unload your trailer into right underneath the pipe where you fill the trailer from. I found the best ones that work are the um, wood silos, the brown, the red, and the white ones. They unload a little slow for me. So what, what I'm going to use is this uh, 5 million liter silo from Omatana and the trailer farm buildings pack. Stick it down here somewhere. All right. Now the first part of this trick is for all platforms is to fill the silo. Now if you're just testing, this will be an awesome one to use, awesome trick. But if you already have say sugar beets in your silo, then you don't need to go this route. But I'm going to show you a trick to fill a silo quickly if you're doing testing on a map or, or cell points or something. So I'm taking the multi-fruit buying station from A2 Studio. I'm going to put it right right on the outside of the grating for the other, for the uh, farm silo we have there. Okay. Spacing is somewhat important. And I'll show you why here in just a little bit here. So now that we have the placeables done, back away just a little. The next step is you're going to need this mod right here. The Global Transport Pallet from A2 Studio. Global Goods Transport Pallet, sorry. And you don't want the liquid one for, the, for doing cut sugar beets. You can do this for anything else that you're trying to do for the liquid side. What we want to do is use the Goods Transport Pallet and, and the key is the Unreal Capacity, the 200,000 liter one. You can customize the color all you want. And as you can see, we have a bunch of AT Studios uh, normal colors. I'm just going to go Onyx on it because it looks good. So we're going to buy that. And then the next step is really user preference, depending on how you want to do this. But I'm going to use a skid steer. You can use a front loader. A wheel loader, telehandler, skid steer. I would not recommend trying to use a pallet or a forklift. Now, for the front loaders, you can use the um, self propelled front loaders or you can use one on the front of a tractor. It does not matter. You can customize it however you want. The key is do not get a pallet fork. You don't need it for the Global Goods Transport pallet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tab into this vehicle, we'll start it up. And for this part of this video, we want it to hook up to the, to the wide side. And there is a reason for this. And once we get closer to the uh, silos over there, I will show you why. You raise it up a little bit so it doesn't dig into the ground and flip you over. Because even though this pallet doesn't weigh a lot, it still weighs enough to buck this uh, skid steer around. You can't put weights on the back of it. So, it is what it is. So what we're going to do here, we're going to pull up real close, but I'm not going to pull all the way up there yet, because I want to show you why the placement of the multi fruit buying station, or selling station, um, I want to show you why the placement is important. 
kind of. So I'm on PC right now and I have the dev controls opened up and everything. So I can look at all of this stuff here. All these little yellow boxes are all the triggers. The big wide one that comes way out to right here. That's the filling trigger for the pallet itself. The unloading trigger is the box that's on the inside. That is a, that is a key to this whole thing working like, like we want it to. And then over here in the silos, you can see that the uh, the trigger for loading into the silo is just about the same size, maybe just slightly bigger than the concrete around the grates. Okay. Now the filling part of the uh, filling station here is the yellow box that goes from right here at the edge of the pipe all the way out to right here. I have it pretty much lined up with the loading trigger for the silo. Now see the thing is you can't load from a buying station directly into a silo. That's where this comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here. You can see I have a start filling trigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here. Since we're doing the sugar beet cut, we're going to buy regular sugar beets first. And I'm going to fill this pallet. Now we're going to go over here into the, into the menu and you can see we have sugar beets in our silo. Now, since I'm on PC, yes, I can cheat the stuff in, but I want to do it real time so that you guys can see that console players can do it as well. I'm using nothing but Mod Hub mods, I'm not using any cheated mods for placeables or the vehicles. Once we get a decent amount into the silo, then we will start the other process. We will see you at that point. Alright, so I moved position just a little on this thing. Now you can see that it is not loading anymore from the buying station. It's because that buying station has a fill speed that is quite fast. And that's okay if you want to sit here for quite a while. So what I'm going to just end up doing is just use what I have in here right now. Empty this pallet out. Okay. I don't have to, but I'm going to just to show the full steps for the next part of this um, how-to. So in the meantime, I don't need this uh, buying station anymore. So I'm going to sell it. So while this is unloading, I'm going to buy a couple of things. So you're going to need a tractor. Any tractor will do. I am going to go to my favorite tractor that I like to use anymore since it came out on the Mod Hub. This is going to be the Class Zerion 5000-4200, made by HR Forest and a couple of other people. And you can customize it however you want. It, do it doesn't matter. I just put my customizations that I like to run on it because I might use it later on. front. I mean, not really, but here's the one reason why I like this tractor here. Look at the horsepower. 620 horsepower for the Stage 1 engine. For a non-articulated tractor, that's the most horsepower that we have in the game or mod hub wise. Yeah, sure, we'll put the Seria Pro Compact on there. Now, some of these options you may not have. If you're on console, I do have some PC mods installed. We're just going to go with this. I would change colors, but it's not needed. Okay, the next thing to buy is something that you're going to need to get from the Mod Hub. The one that I use is this one here. It's part of the Sugar Beet Cutter Pack, and it's in, in the, these trailers are in the auger wagons. Now, for some of these bigger ones, you might need a, a telehandler or a wheel loader to get up higher. So I have the skid steer. I'm going to use the Amity. The size doesn't matter so much as far as the capacity goes. But you can look at the horsepower requirements. They do require quite a bit of horsepower. So the bigger the tractor, 
the better. So I'm just going to go ahead and purchase it. Back out of there. Okay, this pallet is now empty. So now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to detach it. And I'm going to hook up to it lengthwise on the short side. Because that's going to be part of the trick of this as well. So we're just going to do that for now. And we're going to bring it out of the way. Because we want to get the other trailer in here. So we're going to tab over to the other tractor. Get it all set up here. Now this trailer does not have a three point, so you could use a semi if you wanted, like the TLX Phoenix or TLX 9000 or the Roadrunner Plus if you really wanted to. But it's not needed. This tractor will work just fine. So what I want to do now is unfold the auger wagon. And then the big thing is you'll have to um, set the pipe to the out position for this to work. Now what I'm going to do is try to, yeah, okay. I always look to make sure that the pipe is in the full up position so you can have it as compact as possible. So now here, here what I want to do is get this thing as close as possible and still unload into the silo. Now you'll need to keep the tractor running for this. That's the one drawback. You're going to use some fuel to do this. Now we're going to get back into the skid steer. Let's see how many sugar beets we have right now. 322,619 liters in that silo. That was from the buying station um, little uh, trick there. So what I want to do is extend this all the way up for the skid steer because they don't have very long arms. So what I want to do is get close to the pipe so I got the start filling um, icon there on the help menu, and I want to be over this sugar beet cutter trailer, and I just want to start filling the pallet with sugar beets. And as you can see, it's automatically unloading the cut sugar beets that are already in the trailer. Okay, as you can see, I got we got products coming in more than what's going out. So it's still filling, but it's also emptying at the same time. Now, eventually, this uh, transport pallet will get full. And when that happens, you're going to have to keep triggering it every once in a while to fill from the silo itself. Because th that uh, silo will load fairly quick. But as you can see here, we got sugar beets going through the belt on the trailer that doesn't matter because we as you can see here in the pallet we have sugar beets coming in and then it goes automatically empties out of that pallet into the trailer and we still have sugar beets here but, but we'll take a look in this in the uh, um, silo here see look at this we have cut sugar beets being produced And that's a quick way to gain a, about $100 per thousand liters. Now, this is on easy difficulty, so it might be a little less for normal or hard. But you will get more for cut sugar beets than you do for regular sugar beets. And if you have pigs that, that need cut sugar beets, depending on what other mods you're running, if you're on PC or whatnot, this is a good trick, too. If you're on console, the, this is the best way to do it. It's the easiest way to do it with minimal money. So you don't have to buy from the, the multi-selling station if you need more products. If you need more cut sugar beets for a sugar mill or something. You, know, you don't need to um, buy it. Because you're going to gain quite a bit of sugar beets off of any field. And this is where this trick comes into play more so because you're going to get millions upon millions of liters worth of sugar beets to store them in this silo or any silo provided it has the same setup 
and once you get all the fields done, come over here with the uh, sugar beet cutter trailer and have it set up like I have here and you can continue doing the, uh, the cut sugar beets if you need to. Okay, it looks like I am out of regular sugar beets in the silo now, so this will go for a little while. But you, but you get the gist here that it's it's more efficient. The one thing that does, I don't like it too much, but it is a necessary evil for this game. You have to have the vehicles running. You have to have the whatever vehicle you have the global transport pallet connected to. It has to be running to unload it. And then, well, maybe not for that one so much, but for this trailer, whatever tractor or truck or whatever is hooked to it has to be running, otherwise the auger won't work, the belt. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. See how it stopped unloading there? Now we'll start it back up and it's going to start unloading again. So, yeah, just another trick to uh, make your farming a little more efficient. If you like what you saw here in this video today, um, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And we will have more videos coming in the near future. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.